Tash Bunny here, and as you guys know, I'm the best bunny of all time. Kidding. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. But number one, I just moved houses, and this is my new room. So forgive the echo. Yeah, you can see all these boxes here. They don't belong here. They're not here. Just pretend. Pretend they're not here. And number two, I've actually done a recording previously in my old house for the Y720 cube here. Yeah, this beautiful baby right here. So the thing is, the video was actually not up to my standards. I have a particular standards when it comes to videos, and it was my first unboxing video to be fair. But I felt that it was lacking in a lot of things because mostly because I didn't use the um, laptop. <laughs> I didn't use the cube itself. I wish that you know. I could talk about it a little bit more rather than just saying, oh, I see this, 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 this. So think of it as a first impressions video for the Y720 Cube. This is from Legion by Lenovo item. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the look. The look of this, in my opinion, looks super awesome. It's super sleek looking. It's small, it's compact, it's neat. That's number one that I like. So number two, top side here, I'll just use old recordings, don't mind the different quality. So you have two uh, 3.0 USB slots on top and you have the mic and also headset jack right here. Which in my opinion is super cool because you know, I don't have to go all the way to the back just to plug in. Number three, so other than the top side here, this also has an inbuilt receiver for your Xbox One controller. So you just press down here, there's a button here, just press it and that activates the USB receiver, USB, the receiver for the Xbox One controller. Turning on to the back side here, we have your um, the usual jacks here, you know, the usual stuff. You have the headset jack, we have the mic, and all that good stuff. PCIe ports over here, you have your HDMI slots, your DP slots, your Ethernet. USB 3.0s, you have 1, 2, 3.0s, and 2 2.0s. You have your, uh, I think it's a DVI cable, DVI cable here, and also your mouse keyboard. Other thing that I like about this one is that you have the on button up here, which is nice, as well as the top here. I don't know if you can see it from there. It has a super cool, um, you know, red top. It looks like the back of an alien kind of, which is, which is what, um, you know, most uh, gaming companies tend to, not gaming, gaming equipment companies tend to look for. But in my in my opinion, this doesn't look too over the top. Like um, a lot of other brands, they tend to make it look like super alieny, super scaly. That it just okay, it looks really cool. In my opinion, it looks all like um, what's that word? What's that? What is that movie? The Michael Bay one, Transformers. Yeah, it looks all Transformers like, but it's just too over the top. For me, I like simplicity, but I like that hint of gamer e feeling to an item. This is perfect. For me, some LED lights light up, you know, when you when you turn on your stuff. And this just has that, but I don't like it when it's too over the top and the whole thing is lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. It's not over the top, it's the signature Legion by Lenovo colors, black and red. I think it's great. Not just it's not just that. It's also very compact and small. The thing about me is that my room, I don't know if you guys know, like right now is a lot smaller than my old room. That, you know, I need a lot of space. But I can't have my CPU tower taking up so much space on my desk because, come on, that's what you want to do, right? You want to put in more stuff. I'll put my console in there, I have two monitors, three monitors, my keyboard, my mice, and so where does my CPU go? This one is so tiny, so small. And just put it on the side, it doesn't take a lot of space, it's not tall. You won't feel the heat emanating from it. This thing is only what seven around seven ish kilograms, and it's so powerful too. It has a GTX 1060 i7 7000, I think 7000. What more do you need as a gamer? Simple, compact, powerful. I think that's all you need. Now let's go on to what I really think about this. Okay, so I've actually used this a few times. And if you guys didn't know, streaming is one of the most CPU intensive things you can do with your PC. Alright, that's why people just, if they have a, if they're, they're gonna stream, you are gonna build a specific kind of build for streaming. It's a lot more powerful because you're not just running 
a really heavy game, you're also going to be capturing it as number two. So I've streamed Outlast 2 on this, and I did it for about, I think I hit around four hours with it. And I noticed, as opposed to my old PC build, this is really amazing when it comes to that. I'm not gonna lie, I ran the game on highest. Okay, I ran the game on highest. And I also was streaming, capturing as well, streaming and recording at 60 FPS, 1080p. And if you guys can see here, it looks super, super smooth. Super smooth, no lag, no FPS drops, in game and also on stream. No stutters at all. I think this PC is perfect for me. I can game on it, I can stream on it, it's compact, it's small. How many stars would I give this? Given that this is my first first impressions video I've ever done and I'm really really quite impressed with this, I would give it a hmm, I'll give it a 4.5 stars out of 5 stars. Yes, I'm giving it that, that high because okay, most PC builds I go through are, you know, I build it myself, right? I get one item, it's tailored to what I need. So this is the first time ever I am using a PC tower CPU. You guys hear that? I, uh, as I said, just moved houses. Are we done? What was I saying earlier? My PC build is built specifically to what I need. It is hard for someone to actually go out and buy a PC you know, that's already ready made and tailored and have it work flawlessly for that person's need. So yeah, that's your first touch, Bonnie, first impressions. And hopefully, I will see you guys next one. Peace.